What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Rich Minds Everything. As you can tell, this is not a 5.3 liter Chevy or a 6.2 liter. This is a Hemi. Say it with me again. This is a Hemi, man. The most popular car out right now, I got dog. But, well, the most popular engine name out right now. Everybody want an SRT and a Hemi. So, I went and caught me a Hemi, man. I couldn't resist the deal on it, so I went and bought one. It's a 09. It ain't no tune in 18, none of that, as you can tell. It's, a, it's an 09, but you know, we can put our own little twists and turns on a little spruce it up a little bit. Uh, interior on it, pretty decent. Pretty decent interior, gotta clean it out. I didn't do nothing to it, all I did was park it. And that's about it. The worst she parking it. Uh, that's about it, so uh, what we got going on today, I'm gonna end up taking this front end assembly off and ripping this motor out. I already got an engine for it right here because what's going on with this one, it threw a rod. This engine threw a rod, so that's how I was able to get it for the deal. I ain't gonna tell y'all the price I paid for it just yet, but uh, it ended up throwing a rod. I can fix it. We found me a Hemi block, but what's going on with this Hemi block? <laughs> it dropped a valve and two up. Uh, it chewed up two, two more cylinders. It chewed up. Ah. It chewed up uh, uh, three more, two more uh, pistons. And you see that damage on there. If you got my Instagram, you'll see the pictures. But uh, you see it kind of scratched up the cinder wall. But all that is is a rehome. It's real smooth right there. I mean, it ain't smooth, but you know, it ain't no deep, deep scratches up in there. So it's good. All the other ones good. Besides, you know, that right there from the valve. It's being chewed up. So the heads are completely, the heads were completely uh, destroyed on this one. But on this one, the heads are good. I went to Harbor Freight, bought one of these, looked down at each cylinder. The heads are good on this one because I was like, maybe that's why it threw a rod, but no telling why this joker threw a rod. All I needed was the engine. So, I mean, <clears throat> all I need is the heads off of it. But I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like on the inside of one of, oh, I put the spark plugs in, I can't show y'all. But uh, yeah, that's what it looks like right now. So I'm finna go ahead and start tearing this down. I'm finna go ahead and start tearing this down, take the intake off, uh, try and clear as much room as I can in this front part of this uh, engine. And and uh, what else? And start taking the bolts off at the back, start stripping off the wire harness. Well, I'm trying to get as much as I can done today to prepare and finish this out. So I ain't got my I ain't got my, whatever you call it, camera stand right now, so I can't set it up to record, but I'm just gonna piece y'all in on the process, how much I get done, probably throw in a little few pictures or what the, on the process of it. So, yeah, finna get started. All right, y'all, progress, progress. Uh, I got the coolant drain, got the electric fan out, dropped it through the bottom, got the power steering pump off, air compressor off, alternator off to pull off the wire harness, uh, I have a hundred percent of the wire harness snatched off. Nothing's connected. I got all the grounds on the block back there disconnected. Everything is just hanging freely, so nothing won't pull. One thing I still got hooked up is coolant lines, as you can see back there. I'm a, I can leave this one on. I just got disconnected from the back of the uh, engine, <clears throat> from the uh, heater core. Disconnect that. Uh, Make sure all the wires disconnected. I'm pretty sure I still got a. I still got disconnect the starter, uh, the starter and its wires. Uh, and I still got to disconnect all the transmission bolts. I ain't do that yet, but you know I say the best for last. <laughs> Anybody will know that. So I gotta say, take the torque converter bolts out and. Then I'm gonna take the transmission uh, bolts out. So I'm, I'm gonna do the torque converter first because. Looking at this one, it's two bolts. As you see, I can try and get this up in here. I can't really get it up in there, but uh, you can probably see a little bit. It's two two bolts right here on the side. It's two of them holding them in. It's two bolts holding uh, each torque right in, so it's 246. It's six bolts on them. So I'm gonna start off with that first. Uh, do that. Work my magic on that, then this motor should be coming out before this week is out. Then once I take this motor, this engine out, I'm gonna end up doing taking the heads out, pinning it on, 
that block right there. Well, ugh. I ain't gonna say taking that block out because I'm gonna put a new oil pump in it while it's already out. So I'm slapping a new oil pump on there. Try to change the motor mounts out and everything because I kind of bent those up, lifted it up and stuff. So put the new oil pump in there, new head gaskets, uh, get the pistons, getting the pist pistons snatched out, rehome the, uh, that one cylinder right there. I might as well get all on rehome. But get the, get the block rehome, put new rings rings in them and set this bad baby already down i already got the tool to set the ring back down and shit so we should be good to go on that so and that we're good on the hemi for today this one i'm gonna stop at because i'm worn out what y'all think in this box man got the space clear it out what y'all think in this box huh <laughs> you already know it man Big block square, uh huh. Little square block, uh huh. I'm gonna open it up for y'all, man. All right, got another Hemi, cause the last one I had was the wrong Hemi. So uh, I got the Eagle version of the Hemi. I had snatched the wrong engine the last time. I had took it out of 2005 Dodge Magnum, and this one is out of a 2013 Dodge Ram. 1500 with the 5.7. I got to change the flywheel out and I got to get the transmission with a flywheel adapter. It goes in the middle of that. I already got that part coming in. It's only $12. Uh, I got new gaskets, oil pan. I got the oil pan, the whole little lineup. So yeah, I already know I got a lot of change out. Uh, I got the timer cover already. I got the whole I got the whole nine yards to this motor already. So, yeah, I got the right motor to it. I just took the intake off, which is over there. Uh, I'm gonna have to switch the intake out on now. Which this is the truck intake, but I put the car intake on there just, just to see will it fit. I might try something, but I don't know. But I'm gonna go and get the car intake because my last one that came with the car had water up in it. So, here go to Hemi. 5.7 got it broke down already. Uh, little crate motor I bought from a guy. So yeah, I'm finna go ahead and unload it off this truck. See y'all the rest.